Welcome or welcome back for today's video. I am filming another Shopee haul. It's been quite a while again since I've uploaded the video. My last video was two weeks ago. If you haven't watched that yet, it's a Valentine's Day lookbook. And I mentioned that because some of the pieces na kasama don I included here on my Shopee haul. So if you haven't watched that yet, I'm gonna link it down below. Also, if you're new here on my channel, I have a bunch of Shopee hauls. I actually made a playlist of all my Shopee hauls, so I'm gonna link that down below as well. But before that, make sure to subscribe to my channel. You can check out my Instagram at ime.lda. I haven't been posting lately on my IG, but if you want to see behind the scenes of how I would style these pieces in real life, then go check them out. As usual, everything will be linked down below, including my body reference. All of the sizes that I got are size small, unless stated, and you know the man. Let's begin. I'm gonna start first with the tops that I got. I have a few here. First thing that I have here is this yellow boob cut top and I've been loving this color on me so much. Siguro na inspired din ako kay Ate Tony kasi ganito yung mga colors ng top niya. Ano bang tawag dito? Yung mga gantong light yellow na top. Yung ayoko lang dito is sobrang laki ng boob cut niya. Especially this is a size small already. I wish this cut was a little smaller kasi tinitake up niya yung buong space ng top. But it's okay. Hindi naman ako masyadong like hate na hate sa kanya. Etong tali niya sa gitna, props lang siya, not adjustable in front. Akala ko nga na adjust siya para man lang mas tight siya sa may middle area pero hindi. Props lang 'yan. Ang gusto ko dito kahit saan siya i-pair, ang ganda niya tingnan, especially in white pants and white um, bottoms. It looks really good. So, ayan. Another basic piece that I picked up is this black tank top. Wala akong masyadong black na tank top. So, I love myself a good quality tank top. This is a thick, stretchy material tank top. That's why I really, really love it. And it goes well with everything since basic top nga siya. And at the back, it's just a razor back detail. Personally, ayoko ng mga razor back kasi ang hirap niyan ternohan ng undergarment or ng bra. Kailangan yung pa-expa or maybe strapless bra would work on it. For this one, it's okay because again, it's just a basic top. Pili ko ang bilis ko magsalita. Anyway, so I got these two basic tops. And ito yung tops sa may snap button sa gitna. I think you've seen a lot of this. Kasi ganito yung mga nakikita ko sa mga Shopee haul. I didn't pick this out. Since nag-sold out yung isa sa mga items sa kinuha ko, ito na lang yung pinadala nila. Okay lang naman kasi it's a pretty good basic. I'm surprised of how much I like this. Ito yung mga tops na madalas ko suotin pag lalabas ako. And I just interchange both of them. Yung white pala, by the way, may pagka-see-through siya. As you can see, ewan ko nakikita niyo yung kamay ko. So, probably just wear the right undergarments with it para mas suot niyo siya sa labas. Next stop that I have here is this Brandy Melville Inspire Baby Tea. Nagkaroon ako ng face sa uh, style ko na may liga ako sa mga baby tea tsaka sa mga Brandy Melville inspired tops. And this is one of those t-shirts. I picked this up because I really love the baby blue effect. Plus, I can wear this with anything, with some sweatpants and denim jeans and stuff. So, ang design lang niya is the Sherobs and it just says Rock More. And yung mga gantong Sherobs, ito talaga yung mga signature ng Brandy Melville. It's just a really cute top to wear with anything. That's why I got it. Next is this IMG inspired top. And this is one of those things na very flattering talaga tignan kahit anong body type. It's a Toei Sia Maybe Buy It top. May ganito siya sinuot niya sa IG niya. And I really love it on her. So I got it in black. Hindi ko gusto yung tela niya because ito yung typical na tela na nakikita ko sa shirt. Sa harapan, printed yung tela but at the back, puti siya. And ganito yung mga stretchy na tela. Nakapag stretch mo, nasa stretch din yung design. Ayun eh, no? But the design of the top is super good and I love it. Next thing that I have here is this white bodysuit and I really love this bodysuit because it's so fitted and hindi siya katulad ng mga bodysuit na nakikita ko sa Shopee na tight fitting daw pero pagdating sa iyo ang luwag niya sa mga sides because when you tuck it in, syempre kita pa rin yung sa side area niya and hindi siya ganun ka seamless kahit bodysuit siya. But this one is pretty great kasi sakto yung fit niya sa may lower area, sa may waist area ko and again, body hugging nga siya. Ayoko lang din yung 
ribbon design. Hindi lang talaga ako fan ng ribbon design. I think mas maganda siya kapag fabric lang siya itself. Also, what I love about this one is hindi ko na kailangan magsuot ng undergarment sa loob. Yung upper part niya kasi is makapal siya so you don't have to wear undergarment if you want. Next thing that I have here is a failed brown bodysuit na backless and sa likod and open back siya. I love the chocolate brown color and gets ko yung idea nung top na to. Kaso nga lang, meron siyang shoulder pads dito. I thought it would be pretty cool. May pagka-buff yung shoulder area. Pero, ang pangit nung kanilabasan niya. And, sayang, super ganda pa naman niya. Siguro yung mga ganitong top, mas masuot mo lang siya for pictures. But, if you're planning to wear this outside, I would not recommend it at all. So, I got a few Shopee dress. So, the first one that I have here is this velvet cow print dress. Not a fan of velvet fabrics, but I had to make exception with this one. I really like the print and the style. So, sobrang sakto nung fit niya as a dress. Though, I have to mention yung straps niya. Para lang siya nung tela ng ponytail. Honestly, for me, hindi naman siya ganun kadaling mapigtas. But if you're really looking for the quality, well, it's not it. Kasi ito lang talaga yung straps niya. Surprisingly, nagustuhan ko siya, especially on photos. Hindi ganun ka shiny yung velvet fabric niya. So, I prefer this kinds of velvet fabric more than anything. So, I got this bright lilac dress. And I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this. Um, okay yung upper part niya, like you can wear this as a top because that's what I did on my previous video. Pero yung lower part niya kasi may pagka-balloon yung baba niya. You can adjust it at the back by the way, so it's a bit backless. So if you prefer na mas masikip siya sa may waist area, then you can do that. It's not as flattering on as I've imagined it to be. There are a lot of dresses na hindi mo sa shopping mabibili na mas maganda yung take niya sa gantong design. If you have the budget to splurge with these kinds of dress, then do so. Isa pang comment ko dito is you don't have to wear undergarments with it. Nakapal yung boob area niya, so if you prefer to go Go commando, then it's fine. Next dress is this corset dress, and this is such a perfect statement dress to wear on several occasions. Ito talaga yung, yung formal, formal dress. I think this is a House of CB inspired dress. Nakita ko na to sa website na before, I think. The thing about this one, if you're petite like me, para makuha mo yung full potential ng dress, you have to get it altered sa sides para mas fit sa'yo. Also, the straps aren't adjustable, so ang hirap niya kasi medyo mahaba siya for my liking. Siguro papa ipapa alter ko nlang siya sa likod para mas fit yung straps niya. By the way, my foam siya sa my boob area, so pwede mo siya tanggalin if you would prefer that. And yeah, so I have two pants in here. So the first one is an IMG inspired set. I really love the pants. Ito yung mga gantong pants na madali talagang ternohan, of course, because it's black. And it's a bit flared at the bottom. So if you get the right size, nakuha ko kasi small. I think kung nag-size up ako, mas flare siya sa baba and mas sakto yung fit niya sa my ankle area. First time na nakita ko to, medyo na-confuse ako kasi sobrang haba ng tali niya. <laughs> And hindi ko alam kung saan ko siya itatali. But you have to, um, you have to just cinch it here in front, and then you have to tie it sa my waist area. Kopya kopya ng sa IMG, but the fabric again is pretty cheap. Tempre, you're getting a Shopee quality here. It's still quite thick compared to other Shopee pants. I think I mentioned already na I hate halter neck tops. So, ito may pagka halter neck siya. That's probably why I don't like it. Not the biggest fan of the top, but the pants. It's so good. I'm gonna try to find a link na pwede siyang bilhin separately. If I can't find one, then I'm just gonna link both of these below. Next, I got this cow print pants. And I love this pants so much. Ito talaga yung mga cow print na gusto ko. Yung may pagka-realistic yung print niya. Unlike other cow prints na nakikita ko sa Shopee. Yung parang din rowing lang ng ano. Parang din rowing lang siya ng... Parang din rowing lang siya sa paint. Ito talaga... Super realistic. I love it. Yung style ng pants nito ay may pagka wide leg. And I love this gold buttons detail. Nagpa-pop talaga siya kapag suot mo siya. And this would look pretty cool with black tank tops. Yung mga plain lang na tank tops. Or even with neon tops. Siguro pag napagsawaan ko na siya, baka gupitin ko siya as mom jeans na shorts. But... I really love these pants. It's such a statement piece. I almost forgot about this dress. So this is the RUMI dupe dress na open back. The thing about this one, meron lang siyang patch dito. 
pwede mo naman siyang tastasin if you're not into that. And I have to say na manipis yung fabric niya, but it is really breathable. Like, ang sarap niya suotin. It is kind of see-through. You can see my handprint in there. Pero if you wear the right kind of undergarments, then you don't have to worry about it. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching another Shopee haul of mine. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. 